Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Morris. I'm a board-certified fertility expert and the medical director at the world-renowned IVF1 Fertility Center in Naperville, Illinois, and this is Infertility TV. Here's the dilemma. Most people know that the highest pregnancy rates are achieved with IVF. On the one hand, there are easier, more conservative treatments available which are less expensive. On the other hand, you don't want to waste time with the treatment that is unlikely to work. How can you decide if going directly to IVF is right for you? Here are five findings on sperm tests to help you decide. Number one, too many weirdly shaped sperm. Sperm morphology looks at the shape and appearance of sperm. All men, even those with perfectly normal fertility, have some number of abnormal appearing sperm. What about guys who have all of their sperm look abnormal? It turns out these guys have a pretty difficult time producing pregnancies. Without the help of IVF, these couples could take a lot longer to conceive. They should go directly to IVF. Number two, azospermia. If your partner has no sperm in the semen when he ejaculates, he might still have some sperm in his testicles that can be obtained with a biopsy or surgery. However, testicular sperm are not able to fertilize eggs on their own. During IVF, testicular sperm can be injected directly into an egg to get fertilization. Go directly to IVF. Number three, very low sperm counts. Even when your partner does have sperm, if the number of sperm are very low, the chances for success with conservative treatments like intercourse or intrauterine insemination are also very low. While there isn't an absolute cutoff, and there are rare cases when a guy with very low counts might still produce a pregnancy, the lower the number, the lower the chance for success without IVF. A good rule of thumb? If there are less than 1 million sperm, go directly to IVF. Number 4. Not enough moving sperm. Bottom line here is this. Some sperm swim and some sperm don't. Having enough sperm that are able to swim fast and straight is hugely important for being able to conceive. A very low percentage of moving sperm makes it very difficult to get pregnant, so go directly to IVF. Number five, abnormal results on a CAP score test. Most sperm never develop the ability to fertilize eggs on their own. A man with normal fertility will usually have about one third of his sperm become capable of fertilizing. Some men might have a very low percentage of sperm that develop that ability. You cannot determine this with a standard semen analysis. A new test, known as a CAP score sperm function test, can tell you this. Normal results indicate couples that often get pregnant in three to four months. Abnormal results suggest that you should go directly to IVF. If you like this video, remember to like this video. Have a question? Leave it in the comments below. Infertility TV is broadcast weekly. Don't miss any episodes. Click here to subscribe. Click here to visit our website where you can register to become a patient.